Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to master the trackpad on your Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 series. So there are three things we need to know, uh, clicks, taps and swipes, let's get right into it. So in order to uh, do a left click using the click function on your Tab S8 trackpad, all you need to do is you just use one finger and you just click on the empty space and that will initiate a left click. So let's just open up settings, left click and we're good to go. One thing to keep in mind guys is there is this little partition here. So you can see me outlining it with my index finger. This, if you do a one finger click, will count as a right click. You can see here, it counts as a right click and does not count as a left click. If you do use the bottom left hand side, that does count as a left click. So if we just open up here, you see it's a bit glitchy. However, it does work. Now, in order to do a right click with clicks, all you need to do is navigate where you want to right click and you do a one finger click and hold. So we'll click and hold and you can see just like that a right click has been initiated. So instead of click and release, you just click and hold. And then when the right click is done, then you release from the trackpad. Now, the unfortunate part about this trackpad is, you know, you can't do two finger click for a right click. If you want to right click, you do have to go uh, with, with a click. You either click and hold like this, or you go to the bottom right and then do a click here. You can see that does initiate a right click. Now, the good part is with the touches. So first of all, let's make sure the touches are enabled. We do this by heading over to settings, scroll down, until you see general management, tap into general management, and you see here mouse and tra uh, trackpad, tap into this one, scroll to the bottom, and you see here touchpad, tap the click, make sure this is turned on. So let's use the uh, touch gestures. So in order to do a left click, you can just you know tap on the uh, uh, the trackpad. So instead of doing a proper click, you just uh, use a tap. So if we tap here, you can see that will open up the settings application. And in order to do a right click with touch, you do a two finger tap. So we'll just tap here and you can see the right click has been initiated. And another thing as well is you can set a three finger tap. So if I do, uh, do a tap with three fingers, so not a click, just a tap. So don't put too much pressure on. We tap here. Seems like I didn't do enough. You can see here. Do that three finger tap and that actually counts as a back button. So you can see here. Do it one more time. Let's say if I head over to a sub menu, I go here. And let's see, I'll go here, add VPN profile. If I do three finger tap, you can see it goes back, 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 all that good stuff. Now this three finger tap back can be configured by going into the same area. So settings, general management, mouse and trackpad, scroll down. You can see a touchpad gestures, tap with three fingers. You can change that to those options right here. Now, unfortunately, when it comes to this tablet, there isn't much customization. Like I would love to be able to remove, uh, you know, the left click here. Um, you know, doing a right click, stuff like that, but you, you can't customize that. What you have inside settings is what you get. Now let's talk about swipes. So you have uh, one finger swipe, two finger swipe, and three finger swipe. So here's the deal. Uh, if we do a one finger swipe, that's gonna move the cursor on the screen. If we do a two finger swipe, that counts as us touching the screen. So you can see here, this is where the pointer is. If we do a two finger swipe, what it's gonna do is it's gonna do a swipe from where this pointer is. So let's say if I swipe up, you can see it's gonna do just like me actually swiping up with my finger. If I swipe down with two fingers, it's gonna meet, uh, it's gonna act like me using my finger to swipe down on a screen. If I do it to the side, you can see the same deal. And essentially all it is, is you start a swipe and then you can move this however you would like. And what it does is it emulates you actually touching the screen yourself. So that's one thing to keep in mind with a two finger swipe. So uh, let's say if you have the um, uh, the gestures where if you swipe from here, it goes back. Or if you head up to settings, you can bring your cursor at the edge, swipe like that, and it will go back. But of course, remember, three finger tap does work in order to do that as well. Now the three finger swipe, what this does is you can see here, if I do a three finger swipe, that will open up the multitasking. Three finger swipe down will close out the multitasking, but it will also close out applications as well. So let me show you here. If I just go to like, you know, Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi direct, and then I do a three finger swipe down, that counts as a home button press. And the reason why is because if I do a three finger tap, so we just need to go to that sub menu one more time, like this, three finger tap, you can see it goes back from the sub menu. Three finger swipe down is a home button press. So it will always bring us to the home screen, regardless of which sub menu we are in. So that's everything you need to know about this trackpad. Hopefully in the future, they will add a bunch of other options as well. Me personally, uh, right now, the best bet is only, you know, tapping the trackpad in order to navigate your tablet um, because, you know, 
you know, the right click here. That's a bit annoying for me. I know this comes with Windows laptops. However, on Windows, you can disable this personally. You can also, you know, do a two finger click for right click. Those features are not available on this tablet yet. If they are, again, settings, and then you just find general management here, and then you just find here, mouse and trackpad, and hopefully there will be more options here available. These options are for a physical mouse, therefore you do not need to mess around with them. Again, it's called mouse and trackpad. So that's all goes to it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.